Has there ever been a scarier idea than playing the stock market? Is someone's life savings and hopes and dreams for retirement or their kid's college education something to play with? Do large institutions like pensions and foundations play with the money they're responsible for? The reality is that the stock market is not a game. It is a vehicle for investing in great companies to receive a claim on their future earnings. It can be fun, and it is certainly exciting, but it isn't something to play around with. At the Bonson Group, we believe that investments are worth the cash they create for their owners. It may be present cash, and it may be future cash, but all investing comes down to the generation of a cash flow to some beneficiary, a retiree, one spouse, their church, grandkids, what have you. And while buying a stock low and selling it high creates cash for the investor, it doesn't pay the bills along the way. And it can test the mettle of investors who are surprised at the reality of market volatility. We believe one of the great blessings ever discovered for investors are public companies in the stock market who pay a dividend to their shareholders year over year over year. And we particularly want companies that grow that dividend year over year. All investors talk about growth. All investors talk about income. But what we want to talk about is the growth of income. Think about ownership in an apartment building. You know what you paid for the building, but your focus is on rental income. And you want to run the building well enough to see the rents grow year over year. That building may go up or down in value in different months or different years, but you probably wouldn't even know, let alone care. You care about the growing income. Which, by the way, also means a growth of value, because an underlying investment growing the cash it returns to shareholders will eventually see its value go higher too. Sure, values will move up or down at different times, as is the case with any investment. But an asset growing the cash flow it generates increases in value through time. With dividend growth stocks, you get all of the above. Growth, income, and value. By investing in well-managed companies, growing their profits, and then from those earnings, paying their shareholders a dividend. This allows one to reap rewards from the investment continually, not constantly deferring the reward, which means building up the risk. Investors who do not need the cash can reinvest into more shares of the company, creating the miracle of compounding, representing one of the world's greatest wealth-building practices ever invented. More dividends, buying more shares, which themselves will pay more dividends. Einstein's eighth wonder of the world. Investors who do need the cash flow receive the dividend and can use it, buy groceries with it, etc. The stock prices may be going up or down, but when you're just relying on the dividend to spend money and not selling shares that may be down in price, you avoid the great evil risk of negative compounding of letting a bear market tear away at your nest egg. Dividend growth stocks can be considered tax efficient. The dividends are generally taxed at a lower rate than short-term capital gains and ordinary income like real estate and bonds. And they align the company's interest with yours. This may be the most important reality of all. Management is not likely to be growing the dividend if their projections are looking or feeling questionable. A rising dividend is a loud and authoritative statement from management that you can believe their numbers and that company strategy is on track. In a generation riddled with accounting scandals and earnings revisions, the benefit of this cannot be understated. Can truly wonderful companies with strong balance sheets and a history of paying growing dividends still see up and down movements in their stock prices? Of course. But as a dividend growth investor, you can benefit from that reality, buying more shares with reinvested dividends at lower prices. And as an income investor, you can beat the enemy of inflation as you receive a raise year over year because your income grows, regardless of market conditions. Do bonds offer growing income flows? No, they are fixed. That's why they call it fixed income. What about a stock with no dividend? You're just relying on the market pushing up the price. This is what we believe in at the Bonson Group. High quality companies, high income, high growth of income. Because investing is not a game, the stock market is not to be played, rather you ought to be paid. It's what investors need, and it's exactly what we do.